Cirque du Soleil returns to Cincinnati with four performances starting tonight and going through this weekend. We've got Allie Kramer live for us this morning inside the Heritage Bank Center looking at a preview of this special performance and what we can all expect. Hey, Allie. Good morning, guys. If I had even an inkling of talent, I would also join in because seeing the behind the scenes of everything here for Cirque du Soleil is incredible. And one of the things that literally makes my mouth drop is watching this. This is the sear wheel that I am learning about. And Justin Buss from Alberta, Canada. Justin's here with us this morning. Talk to me a little bit about what you do in the actual show. Oh, well, um, I do uh, two acts in the show. I do the sear wheel and uh, the trampoline bed, as well as some other cues. Like I get to be in a horse costume and, and de-rig some nets and stuff. But uh, principally, I do the sear wheel, which is like, uh, imagine a giant um, six foot tall metal hula hoop on the ground that spins around. And uh, yeah, I have one here I can show you. Yeah, um, so show us a little bit about what you do. This guy's literally amazes me. And he's going to try to talk a little bit about how you even get into the sear wheel. <laughs> so it's kind of like, place. it's like a, if figure skating, skateboarding, b-boying, and uh, dance all had a baby. And you kind of spin around and you use your momentum to do some acrobatic shapes. Whee! Oh my gosh, how long have you been doing this? So I've been doing sear wheel for about 15 years. Uh, it's actually a competitive sport. and. I started 15 years ago. I went to a circus school in Canada to learn how to do it better. And I've been professional for pretty close to 10 years. Um, I got started because I liked martial arts and mm -hmm. spinning and stuff. And then I started in some musical theater, acting, singing, dancing. And uh, once I learned about circus, I learned you can combine the two. And uh, after that, I was smitten. That's it. Oh my gosh. You just act like this is no big deal. Like you just roll out of bed. We did talk about this real quick. You kind of dream about doing your performances too. Oh yeah. If you learn something during the day and it's like hard during the day um, and go, you go and you, you sleep, your brain actually learns it while you're sleeping. That's part of, uh, part of the learning process. So yeah, we, we have acrobatic dreams about stuff all the time. And it's funny because the show is a lot about dreams. So. Oh my gosh, very fitting, it feels as if. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you here with this. Justin is going to uh, take us through a little more of the behind the scenes stuff and show us uh, what else he does in the show. I'll give you one little hint. Uh, it has to also do with trampolines, mm. right? And all the beds that are back here, I'm told. So uh, we'll come back to you guys in just about 30 minutes with that. You won't want to miss it. All right, a dream sequence ahead for us. Allie Kramer, thanks so much. We'll check back with you.